Hi, I am Elise Delanoy, a postdoctoral researcher at the Pasteur Institute of Lille in the Center for Infection and Immunity. I work on organ on ship models to study the mechanobiology of host microbe interactions. I designed a gun on ship model to replicate the human colon mucosal barrier interface in vitro. Our devices are casted in 3D printed molds, which aims to be easy, inexpensive and scalable. Inside these macrophilic chips, I maintain a co-culture of human colon cells and macrobiota. We also use these systems to perform infection with a pathogenic bacteria, Shigella, to assess its propagation mechanisms. In order to ensure physiological conditions, the intestinal cells need to be kept on the flow. This mechanical cue helps the differentiation of the epithelium into 3D structured tissue, forming villi and crypts like observed in vivo. Working with microfluidics allows for a fine and robust control of the flow inside the device. Furthermore, in the case of co-culture with bacteria, it prevents their overgrowth and an overacidification of the medium. Macrophilic is a really strong tool to recreate a biomimetic and dynamic microenvironment with, for instance, 3D structuration of the cells, nutrient perfusion, and oxygen gradients. But the true power of Macrophilic probably lies in its potential for multiplex setups and automation. It definitely enables more complex fluidic patterns for my experiments. For my gun and ship project, I have to perform long perfusions protocols and they require a sturdy system that can fit inside small culture rooms. The Fluizy by Frigent is really fitted for confined environments thanks to its standalone features. It is a very modular solution that can be expanded and combined as needed. This instrument is versatile and adapts easily to my experiment while providing a steady and precise flow rate. Microfluidic is a very exciting field with infinite possibilities when applied to organ and chips. My advice would be to always look for simplicity when designing your experiments. Sometimes less is more. In addition, as these models are becoming more and more available in biology labs, there's a strong need for standardizations, especially if we wish them to be fully embraced by wider scientific communities and truly push the boundaries of research.